Hello. Our topic for this lesson is, scale, and technical drawings. You need just 5 minutes, to complete this lesson. Let us see our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Know what a scale drawing is all about. 2. Understand the various types of scales. 3. Explain technical drawings. Now, let us begin. When we wish to draw the diagram of an object on a paper, the exact size of the object cannot be drawn because it is either too large or too small to be drawn on paper. Hence, we use a scale drawing where all the parts of the drawing are a certain amount larger or smaller than the real object. Note that a scale simply gives the ratio that compares the measurement of the drawing to the measurement of the real object. For example, this image of a real horse is converted to a scale drawing with a scale of 1 ratio 10 or 1 is to 10. This means that in this drawing of the horse, all parts of the drawn horse are 10 times smaller than the real image of the horse. So, if the drawn horse is 150 millimeters high, the real horse is 1,500 millimeters high, giving the ratio 1 is to 10. Note that this scale is written as a ratio only if the numbers have the same units or quantities. That's very good. Let us now see types of scales. The type of scale to be chosen usually depends on the following. 1. The size of the real object. 2. The size of the paper being used for drawing. And 3. The size of the diagram we want. To avoid confusion, it is advisable to choose such scales as 1 is to 2, 1 is to 5, 2 is to 5, 1 is to 10, 1 is to 20. 1 is to 50, 1 is to 100, 1 is to 500, 1 is to 1000, etc. It is then easy to convert lengths of the real object to lengths of the diagram. Note that the actual shape or length of figures are unchanged when a scale is used. It is either reduced in length or enlarged as the case may be for convenience. Let us see an example. Convert the length 30 kilometers to the length of a diagram using the scale 1 centimeter to 3 kilometers. Solution 3 kilometers is represented by 1 centimeter. So, 30 kilometers will be represented by 30 divided by 3 times 1 centimeter. Therefore, the length on paper is 10 centimeters. That's very good. Now, let us see the uses of scale drawings. Scale drawings are very useful to surveyors and architects who use them to draw maps of countries and cities, plans of houses, in plots of land. They are also used extensively by engineers, scientists, geographers, artists, the military, etc. For example, the images below show a scale drawing of a Nigerian map and a house plan. Notice that both drawings have scales for measurement. Finally, let us discuss technical drawings. A technical drawing is simply the representation of objects or machines and their different parts by the use of lines. Technical drawings are used to express the intentions of a designer to the users of his designs. 
Users of technical drawings may include builders, carpenters, engineers, electricians, and other manufacturers. The images below are some examples of technical drawings. Now, pause this video, copy these assignments in your notebook, and answer them accordingly. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. What scale drawing is all about. 2. The various types of scales, and uses of scale drawings. And 3. What technical drawing, is. I believe, you enjoyed this lesson. I look forward to seeing you, in the next one. Thanks, and goodbye.